Hey rookies, what's up? Welcome to this edition of the Bourbon Rookie, where today I am your cigar rookie, and I'm going to be smoking for your viewing pleasure and for my tasting pleasure. Uh, a cigar that's been on the market for a couple of years, um, but I've never smoked it, and I'm a huge fan of La Flor Dominicana, one of my favorite cigar lines. Um, I mean, love Arturo Fuente, um, LFD, but Arturo Fuente is starting to get at my price point. LFD, love LFD. It's probably my 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 favorite uh, uh, flavor profile in terms of Dominican leaf. Now this this guy, the Solus, uh, it's a six and a half by fifty. It's uh, it's comes in a box of twenty. It is Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, Ecuadorian Sumatra binder, and the filler is Dominican. Um, and I gotta tell you, just to smell this wrapper, this wrapper, it smells like just honey and cinnamon and a little bit of spice. It just opens up the sinuses. It's it's unbelievable. It's uh. It's well rolled. It's packed pretty well. There's no soft spots. Um, the write up here uh, is that uh, this is medium to full. We'll see. Uh, flavors of earth, cedar, black pepper, leather, and a touch of creaminess on the retro hill. All right. So, with that, I got my smoking jacket on. I'm going to head outside. And we'll be back. Stay tuned. I'm going to probably do a uh, V-cut on this guy. And uh, we'll be back. So before I head outside, I wanted to just get into a little bit of the toasting of this. Um, and then I'm going to head out there. Um, I'm toasting this guy, and I'm, and I'm barely putting that flame to the end of the cigar. And I'm just trying to get the, the whole circumference of the bottom lit. Uh, but I won't want that flame all over the bottom of this thing. Because I don't want to over... I don't want to burn the, uh, the tobacco on the end to where it's going to affect the flavor of the cigar. Now, like I said, this cigar... I think, I think this cigar has been out for a while. Maybe as far back as 2015. Um... But I've never smoked it, and it, I don't see this very much in my local cigar shop. So when I saw this, um, I picked it up. I probably got it for closer to like, it was like $17, if I remember right. Um, but, uh, all right, so we're almost lit. And we're going to head outside so there you go so we pretty much got this guy where we want it to be except for a few black spots but right about now after toasting is when you can really get into this thing So we are more than a third, or we are more than through the first third of this cigar. And say it with me, look at that nice white ash. Now that's an ash worth holding on to. Think all the shirts you can make. This is an excellent cigar. Um, 
I guess for an LFD, this would be considered uh, my uh, medium to full. Sure, uh, I would say it's full, not in strength, but full in terms of the uh, complexity. It's a very interesting cigar flavor-wise. It transitions nicely. Starts off uh, with that nice pepper um, through the f the first quarter. A um, little bit of a lemony. Uh, profile lemon cedar a citrus like a citrus note don't know how they do that maybe it's in the Dominican filler um, and it transitions back and forth between the, a little bit of that of a white pepper spice um, to a to a peanut like a like a you ever get nuts uh, roasted nuts like a roasted, like a roasted nut, um, to again be a little bit of a woody note, but it's it transitions back and forth quite nicely. Um, very interesting cigar, and I'm not even like like I said, I got another probably hour and a half smoke time because I'm a slow smoker. And I'm outside where it's a little bit damp out, and uh, this burn is is doing really well out here. So, um, you know, if that's an indication of where this review is going to go, then you already know. But hey, hang in there. I'll try to make it short from here on. So I'm nearing the end of my LFD Solus, and uh, I can't really add much to the flavor profile. It's again, it's just it's been tra been transitioning very well between that uh, that nutty note that I described earlier, um, the. Uh, slight hint of uh, lemon woodiness uh, cedar there was almost a, like a but that nut that none of it was unpleasant uh, well balanced had one of the best retro hails on a cigar that I've had that I can remember in a while and the aroma it's just a sweet nutty Wonderful aroma coming off this guy. Uh, if you see this in your local cigar shop and you've never heard of Solace, like, I may have heard of it, but I forgot about it because it's, it has been out for a while. It's not a new release, but it's just a wonderful cigar. And I know that uh, I think uh, LFD just released a new batch because a lot of it's in stock online at a lot of shops. Um, and if you see it locally, definitely pick it up. It's It's well worth it. Even in the New York price point, uh, I think, like I said, I got it for around 17 with all of our taxes. Really good. Really good. Um, usually when I smoke LFD, I think Lajero, I think of something powerful. But this guy was um, a little bit of the opposite. Had a little reminiscent of the Coronado, even though the Coronado has a Nicaraguan uh, uh, wrapper. There's some slight elements to that. And um, this has just really been nice on the on the palate itself. It's light. There's nothing heavy. I don't feel like an overwhelming desire to go, like, brush my teeth, if you know what I mean. Um, just a great cigar. So with that, it's a highly wreck. And um, stay frosty. We'll see you on the next review, guys.